Knowing how to strip wire is a skill that really matters. Everything from our trailers to computers to appliances have electrical wire and you need to know how to handle it properly. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you six different ways to get the job done right. Now our first method is gonna be the good old tried and true electrician scissors. The only difference between these scissors and household scissors is they are designed for wiring, but they're a little bit thicker and heavy dutier than normal household pair. As you can see here, the way these work, you spin the scissors around, you bite into the insulation, and once you've scored it enough, you can usually break the insulation off without too much effort. The big trick with this is though, you have to be very careful with those scissor blades that you don't nick the wire when you first bite into it, because that can cause problems later. But the end result is decent. Now this next tool is a little bit more advanced than the scissors, but not by too much, and you might already own this tool. The way this one works is you're going to match up the size of your wire with the upper part of this tool in the right hole. And what happens is this tool will squeeze onto the wire, it'll cut into the insulation, but it won't nick the wire. So that's one big advantage over the scissors. And once you squeeze it, it's a pretty easy job to strip the wire, and you end up with a decent result. Now we're starting to get a lot more advanced. This is a semi-automatic wire stripper. And what's nice about this tool is if you're doing a lot of wire stripping, this tool will really get the job done cleanly and efficiently. But like the last one, you do have to match up with these holes, the right gauge wire. But once you've done that, you can put your wire in and this tool's mechanical action is gonna not only strip the insulation, it's even gonna separate it for you from the wire. So let's take a look at how that works. You just line it up, load it up, and it's gonna hold the wire and give you a nice clean cut at the end and it works really well if you're doing a lot of wiring. Here's another angle just showing you how easily this job can be done. So now unlike the last tool that you had to match up the gauge of wire to the correct hole, this tool is pretty cool. It's a semi-automatic wire stripper and it does not require you to know what gauge of wire you have. So all you do is put the wire in it centers it, lines it up, and the tool will strip the insulation off. It's pretty cool because you can do a lot of wiring quickly and you don't mess up by guessing the wrong gauge of wire. This other angle just shows you how easy it is. Now our next tool really combines all the best features of the past tools in one convenient package. This one's made by Vice Grips and it has a semi-automatic action that'll hold the wire, strip it, and you don't have to know what gauge it is, which really makes this convenient and it's a great tool to have. This little wire guide here, the yellow piece, allows you to pre-select the length of the wire you want stripped. So if you're doing multiple jobs, you can easily get the same result every time. And you can see how simple this is. I just insert the wire to the guide, squeeze, and it's gonna immediately strip the insulation from the wire and give me a really clean result. Another benefit of this tool is it can strip a tiny amount of insulation off. Now this is a pretty extreme example, but a lot of the tools cannot strip this little of insulation. So this can be a real advantage in a lot of situations. Now this is what you do when you don't have one of those tools. Everybody who's done repair work or electrical work knows somebody that uses these to strip wire. It's a huge mistake, but they do work, so I thought I'd share with you this mold of human teeth of how well it can actually strip wire if you're in a real bind. We're gonna line it up, we'll bite into the insulation, and we'll give it a pull. Now these are a model, but surprisingly, it actually delivers fairly good results. The electrician scissors have been around a long time. A lot of pros still use these for all the wiring needs. The problem is, unless you do this all the time, you're almost always gonna nick your wire when you're doing wiring jobs, and that's really bad news. Those nicks can cause short circuits or even a fire, so I really don't like to use these unless it's the only tool that I have on hand. These traditional wire strippers, they do the job, but I really have never liked them. People say that they're great because they cut wire and crimp as well, but the reality is they don't crimp very well. They usually made a super thin metal, and if you've only used these in your life, once you get one of the other tools, you'll never go back to these. So I only use these if I'm desperate, but I really try to avoid them. 
This semi-automatic wire stripper I had for a long time and I like it and it's still sold to this day under several brands. It works pretty well, it's not a lot of money. If you're only doing occasional wiring, this can get the job done, but I do think some of the other choices may be better. But if you come across one of these for a real bargain price, it still works great. This is ideal semi-automatic wire stripper, but this is sold under a lot of brands. And this was one of my favorites for a really long time. It works very well, it's all metal, and I think it'll really last most people just about forever. So this is also a very good choice. The one downfall though is sometimes it slips on the wire and you end up messing up the job. So it's not perfect, but the price is very the most advanced tool in the bunch was the vice grip one and it worked very well throughout all my testing. I got a clean cut on every wire I did. It never slipped and it seemed to perform very, very well for me. The only thing I didn't like about the tool is there is some plastic in the construction. That wiring guide that the yellow piece there is in fact plastic and there's some plastic on the back cover. Now that doesn't mean it's bad. I just get concerned that over time will this tool last. So I can't answer that yet, but so far it seems pretty promising. So I didn't just include those teeth for a joke. I know for a fact that lots of people have stripped wire with their teeth. As you get older, hopefully you get smarter and you realize that if you break one of your teeth, you're looking at 500 bucks and up and it's just not worth the risk and it really doesn't work well for the job anyway. So I hope this video was helpful to you. It really is a skill you want to master and you want to have a good tool to make sure that you can strip wire effectively every time. So please give me a thumbs up on this video if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And also leave me a comment below if you, this isn't one of the tools that you use or you have a great idea for a better way to do it. Thanks for watching.